What up? It's your boy NWP, and we're back at it once again with another video, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the grind here in Season 14 of Apex Legends. Be it ranking up or leveling up that battle pass, there's definitely a ton of stuff that you need to complete if you haven't already. But of course, there's still some detractors in the community that have been saying that season 14 just isn't as hype or as content rich as other seasons. They've even went as far as to say it feels somewhat stale. And I'm here to say I have no idea what they're talking about. With all the weapon changes, a brand new legend, the meta overall feels completely new. And then when you look at all the craziness that has actually happened here in Kings Canyon to make it almost a brand new map. And then you couple in the little bit of tweaking to ranked. I would argue this season feels fresher than any season we've seen in a long time. And on top of that, we know now that there's actually some events that are going to be popping up very soon. As a matter of fact, we're already in September so it looks like we're not even but a couple weeks away from the next event which is scheduled to release on September 20th with of course a new heirloom but first if you enjoy the channel then how about taking the time right now to like this video and if you're new smash down the subscribe button with that notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video but let's get into this one because I'm sure there is a ton of people that are hyped to find out all the information that we currently have about the Beast of Prey collection event scheduled to release on September 20th with a brand new game mode as well as a collection of cosmetics and a brand new heirloom for Loba who is definitely probably one of the community's biggest concerns about being skipped over and there's definitely a lot of people that are really interested in her heirloom which by the way i'll be hooking up one of you guys with if you are so lucky to win the giveaway that is in the description down below check out the link get your entries in there's multiple ways to enter daily entries and basically a bunch of ways to improve your odds of winning if you take the time to do it but check out that link in the description because you've only got a few weeks to get your hands on those entries but of course a brand new LTM is definitely something that even more of the community could get excited about because if you're not a Loba main and maybe you don't even like heirlooms, well, you definitely like brand new unique game modes. And Gun Game is coming with a very unique little, little take on it that we've never seen before. Personally, I've never even heard of a team-based gun game, which means that this is unique in itself. But it does seem to follow the classic gun game rhythm right after that otherwise. And if you're unaware of what gun game is, particularly there's a few reasons why you may not know exactly about this particular game mode. Maybe you're younger, maybe you're new to FPS gaming, maybe it just wasn't popularized in any of the FPS games that you actually played or enjoyed playing. Either way, I got your back to let you know exactly what you can expect for this game mode. Now, Gun Game is a very unique free-for-all game mode typically, but in Apex Legends, it will be a squad-based game mode with four squads of three taking on each other with the Gun Game rule variant. Now, if you've ever played Gun Game, then you're already aware you're going to start with a very weak weapon, something like a P2020 or potentially the Mozambique. And every time you get a kill, your weapon will level up and essentially power up. So you, what you're going to do is have somewhat of an S-curve happening where your weapons will increase in power as well as ease of use. And then once you plateau at a certain point, it will start to decrease in ease of use, but still remain a high damage output weapon so essentially you're going to start with pistols you'll move along into stuff like shotguns then smgs and then you'll get into the assault rifles followed by lmgs and of course dmrs and of course sniper rifles and then finally into throwing weapons now in apex we don't actually have throwing weapons quote unquote what we have is thrown explosives thrown explosives aren't exactly the same thing as a throwing weapon so i would go out on a limb almost and be willing to bet that we're going to see a modified arc star in this particular event for the final throwing weapon kill now in some different variants of gun game it's a melee kill with a melee weapon at the end but in other variants of the game it is in fact a thrown weapon so it just really depends on what weaponry was in that particular game and what the developers wanted to add in but there's also a few different at least keynotes in there 
that may or may not make it into this gun game because we haven't gotten any of that information yet. Now, typically in gun game, if you're melee killed, you actually will go back one level and lose a weapon, making you go back to something that was potentially much weaker than what you have in your hands now. And that's a pretty crappy event to have happen and it's something that people will in fact try to do because it is a way to put people back from winning now will it actually work in apex legends i'm unaware but that is a normal rule for gun game so keep that in mind as you head into this particular game mode now of course what else can we possibly expect to happen in the beast of prey event now We've been hearing for a long time about the Goliath in particular, and we've yet to see this get added into Storm Point. And it wouldn't be an awkward time to add this in as a little bit of an LTM or mini scripted game event, something more similar to Fortnite than we've ever gotten before. So personally, I would like to see this, but will we see this? That's a question that I definitely don't have an answer for. But it does seem like an opportune time to release this particular piece of content into the game. Now, if you look at other situations, we've seen very unique stuff get added in during LTMs, uh, town takeovers. This could arguably be considered somewhat of a town takeover by adding that in there or fall in line with that type of additional um content added in so don't be surprised if we actually get the little bit of pve added into storm point during this event as well but of course guys it's time to talk about the cosmetics and we don't have too many of the cosmetics particularly but what we have i'll show on screen right now and as you can see they are i mean i kind of lackluster from what we've seen so far but it is following this hunter predator style theme and it is potentially going to be an avp kind of theme that we're seeing so it's very very possible that the legendary skins could be much cooler than what we're seeing right now and that would be in my opinion a much better solution than anything else of course it would be even better if it was a real avp collab and we had some you know alien and predator skins that matched what the aliens and predators look like in the movies but I doubt that's going to happen, so don't expect it. However, what is likely going to happen is the release of Loba's Heirloom. And yes, that is at least been talked about and complained about for months on end at this point. And finally, we have our first piece of information from Respawn themselves. As you can see right here, Loba is stealing what appears to be a war fan from an auction house. And a whole subsequent story of events happens here that probably is going to lead into even more stuff. But particularly speaking, there's two pieces to note in this situation. One being that not only do we see Loba's heirloom, but we actually do see the season four flatline skin, which is arguably the most coveted cosmetic in the game. Now, on top of that, this is going to end and then it appears lead right into the shadow royale basically with twitch rivals having not only shadow royale but gun game involved in it and then starting up around october 8th or 9th it does appear that we will be potentially seeing the shadow royale last for three weeks rather than two in season 14 which would kind of fall in line with what you can expect for different holiday events as typically holiday events are even better but as you can see here guys there's the trick run around counterclockwise two times and you'll get a kraber every time well 50 percent of the time it'll be a kraber every time but yeah guys if you've enjoyed this video and uh you really want to let me know what your opinion is about this situation and drop a comment down below and let me know what you're most excited for when it comes to the beast of prey collection event and of course if you want to continue this conversation maybe you want to start another one or hey maybe you want to at me in some of the shenanigans you're getting into here in apex legends or you just want to hang out and have a conversation about randomness and head over to the social media links i'll put them up on the screen as well as in the description down below i'm heavily active on tiktok instagram and twitter and i'm thinking about really starting a live stream with other games and stuff like that over on facebook so potentially like fortnite fridays on facebook and stuff like that so if you're interested in 
the channel and uh, you know what's going on and hanging out, I highly suggest you check out the social media links and give them a like, a favor, a follow. But yeah, guys, not too much more to talk about the upcoming event as they've been somewhat uh, stingy on even the data mined files because they're getting sick of all the leaks, essentially. And finally, they're going to tighten up the ship a bit, it seems. So we'll keep you informed with everything we actually know about the upcoming event as time goes on. But until then, hopefully you guys will enjoy all the content that I put out on the channel. Like, for instance, this video right here. But guys, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and don't forget, you won't be able to enjoy any of this collection event or see if the maps get the new PBE elements if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.